I'm just curious, does Bill Gates ever call you on the phone and say, <laughs> hey, Yuval, what do you think of this? Maybe he calls Itzik because I don't have a phone. <laughs> so, but uh, as far as I know, no, uh, he hasn't called us yet. You, you don't have a phone? Uh, no, 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 not a smartphone. I have a landline, but nobody knows the number. So I've been using dumb phones since 2017 with the release of the Nokia 3310 3G back in high school. And I kind of want to talk about my experiences using a dumb phone for so long, especially being my age and kind of the reasons why and uh, how. Right, so I've used a lot of dumb phones. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on dumb phones. Uh, I'm, I'm an enthusiast, right? I've tested the Punked MP02, the Lifephone 2, TCL Flip 2, uh, Midi Pure, which is a piece of trash, never buy it, please. Um, this Japanese one, another Japanese one that you saw in the thumbnail that's blue. A few Chinese ones from Xiaomi. There are, there are a lot of them out there and chances are I've tested it. Um, but yeah, there, there's a, a wide variety and the information out there can be kind of confusing because it's very region dependent. So depending on where you are, your bands for your cellular carrier will be different. And as a result, different phones from different regions work differently on different bands, right? And maybe a particular phone doesn't work well in Europe, but it works here in America. Uh, and the information is kind of confusing. So um, yeah, welcome to the dumb phone world. Hi, I'm James, nice to meet you. <laughs> right, so am I just being quirky? <laughs> and is this a cry for help? Uh, why would you want to use a dumb phone in 2022, right? Uh, considering you could just go out and buy a relatively inexpensive smartphone that literally has more computing power than the computers that took us to the moon. Right, so there are actually a surprising number of reasons someone might want to use a dumb phone in 2022 besides dealing drugs. <laughs> uh, I'll talk about my main reasons, uh, but you know, there are a plethora of reasons why someone else might want to. The thing that initially drew me into it was I was uh, very addicted to my cell phone and I was also a really poor student. <laughs> Um, and I didn't necessarily want to be a better student actually, but I wanted to be less reliant on my phone. I just thought it was kind of lame how many people were glued to it all the time. <laughs> so I'm, I'm 22 now, right? Why am I still on the dumb phone? Uh, I actually did notice like an increase in my general focus, but not because I was on the dumb phone. What happened was because I'd also made drastic reductions in my time on things that got me on my smartphone in the first place, i.e. social media, video games, uh, online shopping, pornography, uh, just on-demand video streaming, Netflix, the whole works, you know. Because I was on those things less, uh, I was just using my phone less in turn. Right, so why am I still on the dumb phone? Uh, it's because I really value <laughs> being disconnected. Um, and I, I still actually, how I do this is I have a smartphone, right? And a dumb phone with two different numbers. And I give everyone my smartphone's phone number. And my dumb phone, I don't give that phone number to anyone. And if I say I want to go run or go work out in complete isolation, I just bring my dumb phone with me with zero contact, <laughs> which is kind of annoying for people who want to talk to me because I spend a lot of my time disconnected, but that's just the way uh, I operate. I don't have a, a smartphone, like a mobile phone. Are you trying to keep away from social media? Um, I'm trying to, to conserve my time and attention. And it's it can be such a draw, such a distraction. I don't think I would have the time to write books if I would uh, have a smartphone. And the other reason, I actually really enjoy meeting people who see me using like a flip phone or whatever, and they think it's cool, right? And I actually really enjoy having conversations with people where it's they're interested in adopting a more intentional lifestyle or, you know, they just think that old technology is cool, which I also enjoy uh, discussing. <laughs> and uh, I am kind of like a douchebag hipster flavor play anyways, so it kind of works well with my lifestyle. <laughs> so, oh, uh, fuck. Right, so I should preface this by saying I'm no Luddite. <laughs> I actually really enjoy technology. Uh, I'm a computer engineer. 
Uh, and you can go on like YouTube and there's a video of me reviewing Cyanogen Mod 7 on my Galaxy S Vibrant from over a decade ago. Uh, I really enjoy technology, okay? However, I'm really frustrated with how we're using technology now. Um, it makes me kind of sad, right? Because technology should be improving the lives of people. But the, and the way we're using technology now has drastic consequences, namely mental health. And our, our ability to focus is being drastically reduced as a consequence of the way we use technology. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I do think that social media, YouTube, uh, Reddit, online shopping, Netflix, or whatever, all are very useful services, right? The issues start to occur when we start to abuse these highly addictive uh, services. The, the reason that they're so addictive is because uh, the companies that run them are highly incentivized to maximize your screen time, your attention time. So they use your data, right, to tailor uh, an experience and they have, you know, very smart people at these uh, Silicon Valley research labs determine what attracts us as, <laughs> you know, monkeys. Uh, what, what attracts me to keep on coming back and clicking for more. And yeah, we should be really conscious about how we use technology, right? And uh, the flip phone, I guess, is kind of like a physical manifestation of my principles that I generally do. Uh, abide by. I have social media. I mean, I have a Facebook account and a Twitter account, and uh, uh, so it is useful. I mean, to 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 get to people. I mean, you you do need to live in the 21st century. Um, lesson but, number one. <laughs> yeah, no, lesson number one. But uh, I I try to. I, I'm very careful about preserving my time and my attention. Attention is maybe the most important resource uh, at present, and. Uh, Many devices like smartphones are really designed to grab your attention, to take, uh, to take over your attention. So that, that can be dangerous sometimes. So I've been using this dumb, like I've been using dumb phones for you know several years now. Uh, so I'm curious if you have any questions for me, just let me know because I'm probably desensitized to the initial effects of using the dumb phone. Uh, if you have any questions, yeah, hit me up. <laughs> if you want any like reading recommendations for intentional technology use. Um, I would highly recommend Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport and Still in Focus by Yohan Hari. There are a few other books that I would also recommend as well, but those are the first two that will get your foot in the door. Um, and if you want to see more, I guess follow me on Goodreads. <laughs> uh, you don't have to follow me, but yeah, there are more of my Goodreads. I've realized that I kind of forgot to review the actual phone. So here's a quick review of the phone. <laughs> Whoops.